thing that when you talk about healthy lifestyle, differentiate yourself from the things that you grew up to know and become a alienated to things that you're not used to. This is not what healthy living is all about. Healthy living is... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okechi. I'm a healthy living content creator based in Abuja, Nigeria. And on today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that sounds cliche, but yet a lot of people still ask that question even up until tomorrow, right? It is simply an answer for you. If you come around to ask, or even in your head, in your mind, you've thought within you, oh, how can I start living healthy? Okay, this video is for you. 11 simple changes you can make or adjustments rather you can make to begin the healthy living lifestyle okay so before i dive into the video proper if you're stopping by for the first time please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the love i love you so much we just hit 1000 subscribers and i want to say a very big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this channel i love you so much that i love you so much like it's enough motivation for me to continue making and creating healthy lifestyle content and videos for you all because the aim and the purpose of this channel is to ensure that everybody sees healthy living as something that is that has to do with an intentional um, practice that comes with a rewarding effect okay so when you begin to see that way you begin to make this little little lifestyle changes that can actually make a whole lot of difference in your overall health number one on the list is drink a lot of water drink enough water as cliche as that sounds that is so important drinking and hydrating yourself is one major way you can actually turn things around in your life in your health right because when it comes to digestion and every other um, um processes of your organs and body and system hydration is key hydration plays a very very important role in um, your healthy lifestyle um, um journey now a lot of people think that when you talk about healthy lifestyle it's, it's, it simply means the kind of lifestyle where you will, you will differentiate yourself from the things that you grew up to know and become a alienated to things that you're not used to you get that is not what healthy living is all about healthy living simply means taking taking things that are within your environment changing turning things around giving a little bit touch and adjustment and turning things around so you can see a different result when it comes to your health the next way to start living a healthy life is to get enough sleep yes a lot of people because of the hustle and bustle of their day-to-day um, -day itinerary they hardly get to have a lot of sleep i am not saying sleep all day you are required to have at least seven to eight hours of adequate sleep during the night as a human to be able to function properly okay so you just have to um, adjust your schedule to get enough sleep as much as you can sleeping helps to relax the nerves it helps to um uh, relax the brain and send depression and instability off your way remember you've been up and active all through the day from morning to evening and the next on the list is exercise now, when people talk about healthy living, or when people talk about living, when people hear the word healthy lifestyle, they tend to think that it is all about exercise. Exercise is just one part of living healthy, right? It has a lot of um, um, aspects. It has a lot of aspects, right? Exercise is just one of them. Now, exercise doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do um, strenuous cardio or HIIT. Is it HIIT exercise? That is high intensity training. It is not necessarily that kind of exercise. Now. Everybody exercise according to what their um, goal, their fitness goal can be. If they have a doctor's recommendation, what it should be, right? These are the two factors that can that should influence how you exercise and the kind of exercise you do. Like for me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a size 10. In fact, I, I can even fit into some size 8 dresses. The only thing is that it's just going to be a little bit tight on me, right? So when it comes to size, I don't exercise because of size. No, I don't exercise for size. On my video, on my channel, you're going to see a lot of workout videos. I belong to a fitness club. You're going to see a lot of workout videos there. It is not, I don't exercise because of um, weight loss or weight gain, personally. But I make random videos content on different types of exercise, short videos on different types of exercise, right? So depending on what your body goals are, right? For me, I'm okay the way I am. Like, I like my size, <laughs> okay? I like my size. I'm comfortable with it. And my partner is comfortable with my size. So I think that's what really matters. But let's say, for instance, I am not this size, right? And I'm a little bit or a 14 or 16. Then there should be need or a cause for alarm, even a 12. So it depends on what your body goal is from every, uh, from every point in time. So if you think that it is endangering your health, number one, number two, you lack confidence because of your body size, significant order suggests that they will be more comfortable if you were in this size. So first of all, you should do it for you. Do it for you before any other person or any other family. If your doctor has recommended exercises for you, be sure to get the kind of exercise they have asked you to do, right? So that you would know what um, is required. If they ask you to do 3,500 steps per day or three times a week, 
then you know that you have to work some certain things on yourself. You, first, then your doctor should be the best person to influence your decision as to what kind of exercise you would like to incorporate into your daily routine. And guys, you don't even need to exercise daily to be healthy, right? I do twice a week. I do twice a week, and that's just more than enough for me. Some persons would need to do three times a week. Some persons would need to do four times a week, right? So like one day on, one day off, one day on, one that's four times a week. So it all depends on what your health goal and fitness goal is at time. Okay, next now actor is cut down on processed foods, guys. Like <laughs> I can't say this enough. Processed foods have whole foods. Processed food has been linked to cancer as a result of the carcinogens that are found in them. An A-list carcinogen is um, processed meat, processed beef, and every form of processed food thing. They are number one category of processed food: corned beef, um, sausage, and all of that. That's one. And two. When you rely solely on processed foods, you know a lot of them are preserved with preservatives and to ensure that the shelf life stays longer. So these things, over time, over time, is going to and nobody can really tell how how long or how many times you have to eat it before you fall prey of um, these diseases, right? So if you make it a lifestyle to always eat from one canned food or processed food to the other, then you're going to have yourself to blame, right? So try to prepare your own meals because when you do so, you'll find out that you'll get it from the market and then. Um, most of the foods that are sold in open markets are fresh farm produce and fresh products, right? You don't have to get the very um, processed alternative of them. The next is eat more fruits and veggies. Like you need to eat more fruits and veggies. Ensure that you consume them all. And when I say veggies, eh? People think that veggies are until you eat them cooked. No, vegetables, when you're asked to eat vegetables, they are not necessarily vegetables that you add into your food. No, not just that. They are vegetables that can be consumed in their raw forms. Right, and if you find yourself in any part of the world, whether it is your day, your 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 staple in that location where you find yourself, or the staple that you're used to, whatever it is, just ensure that you're eating much of the vegetables and the fruits. Consume fruits. WHO says that the required intake of fruits per individual is five servings. That's five different kinds of fruits in your plates per day. Like how many people get to um, meet that requirement daily? It used to be three, but now it's now five. That's because the daily requirements an adult, an average adult needs contains minerals, nutrients, vitamins that will keep you healthy. That is the reason why um, you need to take up to five so that if some nutrients are not in one or two foods of fruits, you can find them in the third or the fourth one, right? So try as much as you can to eat much of the fruits and veggies. Huh? It gets to this point in someone's life or in an adult's life where you ask yourself, how can I get started on healthy living? And I hope this video is going to be helpful for you. So the next is, which is number six, is eat your rainbows, guys. Eat your rainbows. Eat your rainbows. Now, you know, most, most fresh foods are busting in colors. We have the greens, we have the reds, we have the oranges, like the carrots, we have the tangerine. You, you have your cockles, like the berries. You have the burgundy, like the beetroot. A lot of them, a lot of them. You have the hibiscus that is busted in color. Some people call it red, some people call it purple, some people call it burgundy. Like these colors are so beautiful. Imagine, we have the yellows. Imagine plattering all this in your lids. Ah, in every portion. It is so enticing, even if you don't like to eat food. You will definitely be enticed, you'll definitely be drawn to wanting to taste what it looks like. To know what it looks like when you taste it, right? So each your colours, guys. Like every single colour has every single colour has its own benefits and minerals that it gives to the body. Like studies have shown that most of the foods that are co that come in green colours and white colours are very good for the white blood cells and to boosting the immunity. So you can see that it is not far fetched to know that um, to say that these foods according to their colours they satisfy each organ that has something to do with that is related to the colour that they come in. Then the reddish kind of foods, the reddish kind of foods, red blood cells, right? So a lot of them, a lot of them, even the shapes of the food, the inside the membrane of the carrot, like you can see like tiny veins, it's like Studies have shown that it can actually help in your eyesight because it has the shape of the eye cell, like behind your pupil, the way the eye looks like or how it is structured because this is how God made them. <laughs> Mother Nature has the answer to virtually everything that we seek, right? Nature has the answer to everything that we seek. Before this recent time, when we now have um, um, modern day medicine and industrialization, this is how they source their foods and medicine. Number seven, guys, is ditch refined sugar and carbonated drink. Well, I can't say this thing, no. Cut down on fizzy drink, cut down on carbonated drink, drinks rather, and um, avoid every form of refined sugar. Do you know that studies have shown that cancer cells thrive in sugar, right? And a reduction in sugar level can actually inhibit cancer cells. 
Now, you can't beat that. Most ailments, aside from cancer, thrives in sugar. The sugar makes an enabling environment for them to grow and multiply. And cancer is one disease or terminal disease that can actually multiply. It's a multiplying disease. And that's why when it has gotten to stage four, the doctors will say the cancer has spread to all the cells or all the parts of the body because it, 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 it multiplies like a ripple effect. So it shouldn't even happen in the first place because once it happens, the chances of cutting down the multiplication are really usually very, very slim. Okay, so try to cut down on fizzy drink and refined sugar, on baked um, foods, on drinks and what have you. Switch to healthy juices, make your juices yourself. The truth is, um, your fruits have uh, the sweetness of taste. Instead of satisfying your sugar cravings with ice creams all the time or processed fizzy drinks that are carbonated fizzy drinks that are carbonated drinks as well switch them with your fruits and um, smoothies right switch them with your fruits and smoothies they're also sweet imagine imagine fruits like um um pineapple carrot watermelon orange imagine blending or juicing them and putting them in the refrigerator to get cool so guys the rest of the list is prepare your own meals all right even if you don't know how to cook a lot of people don't know how to cook a lot of, a lot of them don't know how to cook but make sure your meal, the meal you're eating is homemade meals most of the time. The reason why this is a factor is because when your meals are prepared from home or when you prepare your own meal, you have a, a chance of correcting and controlling the environment and the ingredients that are endangering your health, right? So if you're asked to avoid eating some, um, for instance, excess salt, if you're getting the commercial packaged foods or fast food, you know you can hardly have a control over them because you already have a recipe that they work with. So they can't say because of you, they are going to change their entire recipe that probably has gone international all day. You know it's suitable for them for their commercial purposes. So it is best that you make your own foods, prepare your own foods and even your own snack. So you do not have reasons to keep going back to these processed foods, overly processed foods that are filled with too many preservatives and additives that are endangering to our health and your health. Number nine is avoid negativity around you. Hmm. Why is this a factor? It is so much of a factor. It is so much of a factor. Negative energy weighed off because the gym is, before you know it, toxicity steps in and you begin to become mentally drained. And do you know that um, mental, mental fatigue also reduces your immunity? So it's not just physical fatigue or tiredness or stress, not even your immunity. So you don't need it because you know what? What this negative energy does to you, negative atmosphere, does to everyone that comes in contact with it, it drains you. It drains you and you begin to dwell in this negativity and negative energy and before you know it you begin to develop things like high blood pressure because you're dwelling and thinking over it for too long high blood pressure um before you know it diabetes your high blood pressure has it has its cousins and sisters high blood pressure before you know it, diabetes creeps in <laughs> before you know it it generates, it generates something else so don't even allow it to get to that point you shouldn't magnify it to the point where you have to start thinking of managing regenerative immunity. that is why negative energy is not good for anyone nobody tries the negativity okay so guys number 10 on the list is cut down stress okay now studies have shown also that stress reduces your immunity mm -hmm. so stress overly stressing yourself is not the key right i understand you need to pay your bills and all of that but ensure that you are creating balance as much as you're working going out to um um pay your bills, um, going out to make a living for yourself and pay your bills, please ensure that you're resting enough as well. Create time for recreation, create time for relaxation, create time for rest, Take, create time for self-care. These things are very, very important. People who do it don't do it because they love luxury so much. That is because they are trying to create balance. Balance is key in life. If you cannot achieve equilibrium, one aspect of your life is going to suffer, which is your health. Once there is so much stress, before you know it, different ailments begin to creep in and that is because your immunity has been jeopardized. So ensure that at every time your immunity is high so you can stay disease free for a very long period of time for a very long period of time there are people who have very high immune that have not even stepped close to the hospital in five years for any reason whatsoever they have not taken medication in five years they are healed and hearty every aspect of their health is okay and working in optimal state right there are people like that the last but not the least is quit smoking and alcohol right the reason i paired the both of them together is because they go most of the time they go hand in hand they are just two different points, but let's pair them together. They go hand in hand. Do you know the the, of the manufacturers of tobacco, which is the primary ingredient in making cigarettes for smoking, usually indicates in the pack that smokers are liable to die young. And yet people still smoke. They take this thing to relieve whatever it is they want to relieve, to feel some sort of way. In fact, they still smoke. They are chain smokers that smoke anything smokable. You are deteriorating your health by doing this and it's not a flex. It is not a flex whatsoever. It is not a flex. Quit smoking today and have a better health. If you see the lungs of someone who is a chain smoker or a habitual smoker and the lungs of someone who is not 
person a smoker there is so much difference this other lung looks dark dried and dehydrated while the lung of somebody who is uh, um, healthy that doesn't smoke is healthy and fresh now the thing is some persons will say I, I don't smoke but be careful not to fall in the category of a secondary um, inhaler I don't know is that, is that what it is called be careful not to fall in the category of a second inhaler like if you do not smoke personally but you stay around the environment where people smoke you're going to be inhaling the smoke that these guys um, exhale right and you're breathing it in you're inhaling it and you're inhaling it trust me guys your lungs are as bad as the person who is also putting the cigarette in your mouth that is because it does the same harm or damage to you right so persons even say that it is even worse for somebody who is a secondary inhaler of um, tobacco right so whatever the case is ensure that you're not in any risk of smoking now the other part of it which is alcohol please ditch alcohol this matter a lot of people them and alcohol they are five and six they cannot change the bond that exists between them alcohol has now been proven according to um, researchers as one of the leading cause of cancer guys avoid alcohol you can start by cutting down on the quantity of alcohol you take by cutting down on the number of times you take alcohol per week or per month that way you will be able to um, give yourself goals achievable goals right realistic goals and before you know it you will quit completely so think about it this way you are drinking your your life away every time you go a glass of alcohol you're drinking your life away you're drinking your life you're walking to your grave closer than you think that is how it is see it that way and if you can see it that way i believe that you're going to be able to call and um control what goes on into your mouth right so guys thank you so much for watching this video up until this point if you got value from this video please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up share like and subscribe on youtube and my page on facebook at living healthy with Oge on facebook and youtube okay guys thank you so much for watching this video and until next time don't forget to always stay healthy i remain your body in living and staying healthy bye